Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes when you take a photograph on a hazy day, the it it's you can see it gets a bit particularly as you go into the distance, it goes a bit grey in, in, in including in the, the subject here. So what can you do about it? There's a couple of things. Um, one is good to go to the filters and down to sharpen and go to clarity. And clarity is very simple, one slide at control that you can slide up and down to see what it effect it has. And if you go all the way up to just to see the, the whole thing, you can see the way the glass, the grass is pretty exaggerated here. And, um, but it's just, it's, it's improving down here. So but as you bring it down here yeah, to, so make the, you know, the grass a bit more realistic and down here, then you're kind of losing things in the distance a bit. So clarity can work with some subjects, but this, when you've got things going away, it's a, it's a little bit of a bother. So clarity is one thing you can do, which is filters, sharpen and clarity. So let's cancel that and see if there's another thing we can do. And in fact, there's one that's especially designed for this, which is down here under filters, which is haze removal. Now under haze removal here, we've got three different controls here. And well, they're very, very easy to use. Distance, well, it does. It, it's how far into the distance this is going to work. And we'll look at that in a minute, because first of all, we're going to look at the strength, because that's the main control. And you can see if you turn this up, things kind of get a bit, uh, you know, they're less hazy. And they turn them down and it goes back to when it's the bottom, it's your original picture. So you find a bit in here. But when you're doing this, notice the picture's going a bit darker. So that's what the exposure correction does. If you go down, it goes even darker. But if you go up, in this case, it gets lighter. So you can sort of like compensate to find the right level where that's going to work for you. But now let's go to this distance thing and watch, particularly watch just down here. You can see it happening quite clearly. As I bring the distance down, see this suddenly this fade goes up and down there as I'm sliding this up and down. And all it's doing is effectively it's putting a kind of like a uh, a controller sort of to to ref, uh, control the amount of effect into the distance here. So it, it lets you handle that bit where the things which are close to you and things which are further away kind of having different effect. And a good way to do this is to push the distance up here until it just hits the horizon and that's as clear as you want it to be. Although some a bit of haze in the distance is sometimes a good idea because it gives that impression of depth. But let's just slide it up to there so you've got some clarity all the way back there now. It's a bit strong here, so I'm going to bring this back down until it's it's looking OK. And as I do this, notice in the distance that's that's changing. So I might need to play with the the distance effect again, get the where, where that works. So we sort of bounce that. And then to get the finally make it about the right amount of lightness, we use the exposure control. And so you, you're playing around, tweak one, then tweak another. But overall, you can do an awful lot here to take a hazy picture and make it a lot nicer. Another extra tip with this is even when the picture is not hazy, if you've got landscape, try putting this haze removal onto it. And it'll make landscapes kind of like perk up a bit. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.